John, who tells the story, says that he was born to a priest and is a member of the hill people. He says that in his society, you can only go to the dead places to look for metal and that only priests and their sons are allowed to touch that metal. But going east to the place of the gods, where the ruins from the great burning still stand, is even more strictly forbidden. When his father gave him a piece of metal and he didn't die, John was chosen to become a priest. Even though he was scared the first time he went to a dead place with his father, he is not afraid now, and as an apprentice priest, he has gone to dead places by himself. He has also been taught the priest's secret knowledge, such as how to read and write, how to use a medicine, the chants and spells, and stories about the gods. He is now very curious about the world and wants to learn more about it. John goes to his father as soon as he is old enough and asks for permission to go on a trip. He also tells his father about his recurring dream of a great dead place, where gods walk. John's father tells him he can go on his trip, but warns him that his dream is very powerful and may eat him up. He then tells John that going to the place of the gods is against the rules, but he also says that John may become a great priest one day. John leaves his village and heads east. He does this because he sees signs in nature, like an eagle and a group of deer also heading east. He kills a panther with his bow and arrow, which he takes as a sign that he needs to keep going east, even though he doesn't want to go against the law of his people. After eight days, he comes to the great Odis Sun River and sees the place of the gods on the other side. During that time, he finds a knife in one of the dead places and avoids being hunted by the forest people. He tells himself that night that he will go back to his village, but he knows he will actually keep going to the place of the gods. John builds a raft the next morning and sails down the river, ready to die when he gets to the forbidden place. He sees huge broken bridges across the river, and when his raft flips, he almost drowns but manages to swim to shore. He sees empty towers, god roads, and signs of the great burning in the place of the gods. He also finds a broken statue of a man or god with the name, Ashing, written on it. John goes north and goes into a big, temple, to find food and drink, which he does. John keeps going north along a long god road. He enters a tall tower and climbs the stairs to the top floor. There, he finds a place of great riches, with a bunch of dusty rooms full of rugs, paintings, chairs, books, and machines that work with, magic, from a long time ago. When night comes, he makes a fire in the fireplace and goes to sleep. He sees a vision of the place of the gods when the gods lived there. It was a busy city full of gods and their big tools and chariots. John is amazed by the vision and by how powerful and wise the gods are. Then he sees the great burning, in which the gods and their city are destroyed, and he starts to cry. He can't figure out why this terrible thing happened. John wakes up to find a dead god, sitting by a window. When he looks closer, he sees that the god is really a man. He now knows that all the gods were just like him. He goes back to his village and tells his father what he has learned. His father says that John is now a man and a priest. His father also warns John not to tell the other hill people about what he has learned right away. John agrees and thinks that the people of the place of the gods, which he calls the place New York, may have been doomed because they learned too much too fast. Now, John and the other priests go to the dead places to look for books and metal and to be amazed by the tools that the people who used to live there had. He says that when he is chief priest, he will take a group of men to New York to see the statues of the gods who were men because John and his people need to start over with civilization.